It is so easy to install GLPI on Docker, and I'll show you how in this video. Docker is a tool that can package software into containers that can be run in different environments. I know sometimes different flavors of operating systems can make the technical task even harder. And that is where the Docker comes in as a smart solution. There are three important elements that you should know about Docker before starting this video. The first one is the Docker file. The Docker file, it's like a DNA. It's where you have code that says what to run, when to run, and from where to run that image from. The image is the snapshot of your application and all the dependencies for it to run smoothly. And the container is where the Docker file and the image run together to provide you the services that your application provides to your clients. In this video, we are going to use two images to run our GLPI. The first one for sure is the GLPI, which is on Docker Hub. And the second one is the MySQL image, which is also on Docker Hub. If you look into the show notes, you'll find all the documentation to run GLPI on Docker. But before we dive into installing GLPI on Docker, you must have Docker installed on your desktop or on your server. So you can find the flavor of your operating system here and install it on your operating system. We will create two files in our server. You can choose the folder where you are storing the information about your Docker images. In this case, I'm creating a folder called GLPI Docker. I'm navigating into GLPI Docker and I'm creating the docker compose.yaml file. Inside this YAML, I'm inserting the information that comes from the website that we have on Docker Hub or on the documentation. Please make sure that you are using the ports that you have available on your Docker server and also make sure that you create the end file that will take information for the MySQL password, user and database. I'm saving it and then I'm creating an end file with this information here. yang.env at the same folder. In this case, the GLPI da database name is GLPI, the DB user is GLPI, and DB password is also GLPI. Please make sure that you have a strong password if you're going to use it on a public environment. And after I create the Docker Compose, the end file, I will run the Docker Compose up minus D, so the Docker containers are going to be created taking all the information from the DNA and the environment variables of our file dot and everything is created automatically. If you don't have the image already downloaded, Docker will download it and after that it will run all the Docker Compose instructions on this image. Once you run the Docker Compose up, you can also run the Docker logs to check what is the root password for the MySQL. Since in this Docker file we are inserting the variable for MySQL root password to be random, we need that for future insertions or permission changes on our MySQL database. Docker GLPI DB1. Let's see, here we have the generated root password. We are copying it so we can insert the time zone permissions to GLPI work with time zones. We are coming back to our documentation and copying this command here that will execute a command of MySQL inserting the grand select on my SQL time zone to the user GLPI that we've previously created using our env using the root password that was generated before. So copy it, change the DB container ID for sure, which is the same that we've used before, Docker 
glpidb1 now the root password that we've created before randomly if you don't want it to be random you can check the documentation of mysql containers and change the variables on the docker compose file the next command is to initialize the time zones on the glpi container so now is the glpi container copy it and run changing the glpi container id to the one and it's done time zone usage has been enabled you can just type the ip address of your server and access your glpi instance if you need to test a different version of glpi you can find all the tags here you can navigate into the docker compose and change the image tag to the tag that you want to test or even if you want to change the port of your server let's say you are already using the port 80 of your server you can change it to another port that is available on your server. Using these tabs, you can easily create your Docker instances for test purposes or even with a little bit more of information about Kubernetes, for example, use it in production. Which version of GLPI are you going to use on your Docker server? Let in the comments below 